All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to discuss the dispute letter tracker and why it's so important, okay? So the dispute letter tracker has quite a bit of functionality, but it's very important for you guys to understand how to use the dispute letter tracker and what all features it has, okay? So number one, whenever you're disputing and you generate dispute letters, this is where all of your dispute letters are going to reside, okay? So any dispute letter, whether you mail it out or not, is going to end up here inside of the dispute letter tracker. Now, the dispute letter tracker is very essential because whenever you're disputing with these creditors or the credit bureaus, it's very essential for you to keep track of all of the dispute letters that go out, but also keep track of what they mail back to you, okay? So in the case you need to go to the CFPB and file a lawsuit or go into arbitration, you have the documentation to prove because prove your claims, right? Because court starts in the mail, okay? So you want to be able to back up your claim with evidence. Now, the first button that you see right here is the upload files button. So let's say you sent out a dispute letter. Let's say in this case is going to Equifax and then they sent you something back, whether it's like verified letter or it's just the information that they mail back to you. You want to keep track of that. You can just click here, anywhere inside here. Then the upload screen is going to pop up. You can upload the PDF. You can take a snapshot of the of whatever they mailed back to you and you can upload it here. You can upload multiple documents. And then you have that for your history and you can keep track of it in the case you need to download and print it out in that case, okay? The next thing that the dispute letter tracker allows you to do is to update or edit your dispute letter. So let's say for instance, you have your dispute letter and you want to edit it or make changes to it before you actually send it out from the system or download it. You can click edit and it will allow you to edit any letter. Now, with Credit Fixer, you can use AI to rewrite the letter. You can just type whatever you want. If there's some images you want to add into the dispute letter, you can. Let's say I grab an image here. Click here. Let's put this image here. Just make sure the sizing is, is good. Let's put 350 maybe. Save. And now it's in there. Now you can just click Update Letter. Now it's updated. Now if I go back here and scroll all the way down, I should see that image there. So um, Credit Fixer allows you to edit your dispute letters and also review your dis dispute letters, okay? The next thing is the ability to actually send your dispute letters out by mail directly from the system using the Credit Fixer mailer, right? Now you can send first class mail or certified mail. We're also uh, working on another mailing option. You'll have three options, okay? There's a tutorial video here on how to actually use the Credit Fixer Mailer. You can also top up. So in case you need to use, you run out of mail credits, you can purchase more mail credits. And the pricing is here. You guys can view the pricing here. Go ahead and cancel because I'm going to show you guys since I'm on this. Uh, you can send multiple dispute letters at once. So you can send bulk mail. So you don't have to just send one each dispute letter individually. You can send multiple. Now, two out of two just loaded. You just click pay and mail. Okay, so I don't have no balance. I have to purchase more. But nonetheless, that's how that works. The other thing, let's say that you want to, you don't want to mail from the system. You live nearby a post office and you want to travel there. You can just download the dispute letters. You can download them individually just by clicking this button right here and it will download the PDF version of the dispute letter and you can print that out and mail it out. You also have the ability to fax your dispute letters. Now I have a disclaimer here for you guys to read over. With Credit Fixer we provide you the tool. Not saying that you can you should use every tool but in this case we do have the ability to fax your dispute letters right. Now I won't say to rely on faxing because these credit bureaus and creditors, they often change their fax number or they may turn them off for the day or whatever the case may be. I recommend downloading either sending certified mail or first class mail from directly from the system or downloading them and taking them to your local post office and mailing them out. Okay, so that is the dispute letter tracker. Again, you have the option to do mail or download individually or you can click more actions and you can download multiple letters at the same time or you can send bulk mail. All right. Okay. And you also can delete items that you no longer uh, use. Okay. So let's say you generate dispute letters and you didn't mail them out. You can delete them. 
Oh, one last thing. So a lot of people get confused about this. There's this mail date right here. Whenever you mail out your dispute letters, it's very important for you to keep track of when you mailed them out. So let's say for instance, I j created the dispute letter on August 14th, but I didn't mail it out until August, Friday, August 18th. Now, a couple things happen. The Credit Fixer software is going to uh, provide you with an estimated response time. So I'm gonna refresh my screen and it's going to let you know when the dispute letter, you should expect a response time, a response back from the credit bureaus. When that date comes, it'll let you know. You'll receive a notification, like the system automatically will send you expected response times, okay? So I just want to point that out. That is the entire dispute letter tracker.